In this video, we're going to look at loop recording audio and accessing alternate takes. First, let's take a look at how to loop record audio. There are several ways to enable loop record mode. One is to go to the options menu and choose loop record. The other is to go to the transport window or the transport controls in the edit window toolbar, right click on the record button and enable loop. Once loop record mode is enabled, you'll want to record enable the target track. Then you'll want to make a selection that encompasses the loop range, using any of the techniques we've previously discussed. Then we can simply click record and play, and record as many takes as desired. On the last pass through, you'll want to stop the recording before you reach the midpoint of the loop. That way Pro Tools will discard the very last take. If you want to cancel all of the recorded takes, press Command period on the Mac or Control period on Windows. Next we'll take a look at working with alternate takes. Before we start working with alternate takes, we'll want to set our match criteria. The match criteria determine which alternate takes will appear in your alternate takes list. You can specify the match criteria in one of two ways. Using the selector tool, you can command click on Mac or control click on Windows on the selected clip and choose alternates match criteria. Using the grabber tool, you can right click on the selection, go to matching alternates and choose match criteria. Then the alternates match criteria window will appear. There are two sections in this dialog. In the alternates match section, you can set the match criteria to track ID, which will match any clip recorded on the current track, regardless of the relationship between the clip name and the track name. You can also choose track name, which will only match clips that have the same name as the track. In our example here, that would be clips that start with bass. And then finally, you have the clip rating, which will only match clips that have the same rating as the selected clip. We'll look at clip ratings in a future video. Then in the next section, you can set the timestamp criteria. The first option is All, which will match any clips that include the time location of the cursor or selection. Next, we have Clip Start, which will match clips that have the same start time as the current selection. Clip Start and End, which will match clips which have the same start and end time as the current selection. Within Selection, which will match any clip that starts and ends inside the selection. Or None in which case only the main filters above will be used to determine matches. In most sessions, the best options are Track ID and Clip Start and End. This will usually give you precise matches for your current selection. Once you've set the alternates match criteria, you can go ahead and close the window. Now let's look at selecting alternate takes. There are two ways to select alternate takes in Pro Tools. The first is to go to the Selector tool, and then command click on Mac or control click on Windows anywhere inside the selection and choose an alternate take from the alternate takes pop-up menu. The second option is to use the selector or the grabber and right click on the selection, go to matching alternates and then choose an alternate take from the matching alternates submenu. We'll look at more advanced techniques for working with alternate takes in a future video.